Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with newportraitbiz.com, and what I have for you today is a lesson that I wanted to create, because I've done this in the past, and I get a lot of people that try to achieve this effect, but they just don't understand how to do it, and it's really, really simple, and what I'm talking about here is a soft focus on the outer edges. Now, this can be adjusted to where it's not as heavy, or you can have it heavier, or you can also merge it to where you only have certain parts of the image. Like maybe you want it softer down here, but then you want this to be uh, lessened. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is the original, and then this is it with the soft uh, focus. This here, similar, but I took some of it off of here, and you can see that's before, that's after. And then this one here is in a vertical and it's a little bit more of a close up and then you can see here that's before and that's after. So it's very similar to a vignette in a sense because it does draw the attention to the subject. And uh, this used to be done years ago with a filter that you would put on your camera and you could still do it that way. We've actually done it where we put a, uh, we used to, where we took a, a filter and put over top of it a clear filter just to protect the lens and we took a quarter and then put the hairspray over it and that would give you the center clear and the outer edge blurry or out of focus in this case just like this but you didn't have this flexibility so what I want to do is show you exactly how to do it it's really easy and then also if you're a club member and you're watching this I'm going to be adding this as an action that you're going to be able to use and I'll show you how it runs and it's real easy and all it is is recording the steps that I'm going to show you in this particular lesson so if you're not a club member you're going to see exactly how to do it if you are a club member you're going to actually get the action for free as part of uh, being a club member. All right, so let's get started. Let me start with this one first. I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, or just go ahead and delete that layer. So there's the original image, okay, one of our digital creations inside the club. So what I'm going to do now is show you how you would do this. So the first thing you're going to do is just go up here and you're going to want to create another layer just like that, a duplicate layer. So just go and click on duplicate layer. You can title this if you want. We'll title it soft. Um, effect okay and then just say okay and now we have the exact same thing so you don't see any change now what we want to do is go up here to our uh, marquee tool our elliptical marquee tool and we're gonna want to make sure that it is on the rounded one the elliptical marquee tool okay and then this is important you want the feather right here to be a hundred pixels okay and because you want that edge to be soft all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drag, I'm gonna hold and drag out, and now don't go all the way out to the edge here. Keep it inside, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, and also, if you wanna hit the Shift key, then you can keep it to where it's exactly you know, around, like if you were laying a quarter uh, over top of the image. But in, my, in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and just drag this out, so I'm leaving some of it uh, you know, some of the edge there or a lot of the edge there. And then I'm just going to let off. And you don't have to be perfect with this, okay? Now, if you did this and you say, well, this is a little bit different than this, it's not going to matter. So now what I'm going to do is now that I have that selected, I'm on the duplicate layer that I titled Soft Effect. And then I'm just going to go Layer, New, via Cut, okay? And you don't see anything yet, right? No problem. Just go ahead now and delete that layer, okay? And now if I turn off the background layer, you can see what we have here. So now this is what I'm going to be using as my overlay uh, on the image that's going to give it this effect. So now I just want to go to filter and then go to blur and then Gaussian blur. And then I have it set here to 45.4, somewhere in that area. You, you know, you can play around with these sliders to see what you want. But what I like to do is give it, you know, a little bit of a heavy effect, okay, something like that. Select OK. And now what I can do is I can adjust that with the opacity slider just like this so if I wanted to bring it up a little bit and you can see instantly what we've done it's just kind of gives it that dreamy look now the subject is in focus and uh, it, it just gives it a whole nother look all right now like I said if you wanted this down here to be heavier than this back here the way that you could do that there's two different ways you can just use your eraser tool if you wanted to drop your opacity down let's bring it down to about 30 percent and make sure that your brush is your hardness is all the way down. And then from there, you can just kind of lightly go over top of it here, revealing some of that background, okay? Or you can just create a layer mask. So just go from here, okay, on your layer, go down to the bottom, click on this little icon, which is your layer mask. And then from there, make sure that your brush color, your foreground color is black, 
go to your paintbrush. And then from there, I've got it set at 40 opacity is my brush strength. And then from there, I'm just gonna lightly go over top of it like that. See, and we, you can see that we've brought that back. Okay, a little bit. If I wanted to kind of go down here, let's say I wanted to bring this down to 18%, I could just lightly go in here and just leaving the front of it out of focus. Okay, now, same thing I did here, same exact thing, okay? But here's the thing. If you wanted to record that as an action, this is how that would look. Go to your actions palette. Now, if you're a club member, you're gonna see this once you download these and load them, is basically we have a horizontal picture, so I'm going to make sure that I'm on uh, horizontal soft focus, make sure that I'm on my pointer tool. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure obviously that I'm on here on the background, which is flattened image. It's only gonna work if you're on a flattened image. Go to the action and then just click play. And instantly we have all of that work that I just showed you. Now what I can do is I can adjust this slider, okay, to take the strength down. So maybe I want it in there, but maybe I wanna let this come through a little bit more. Well then I would just do what I showed you before and just add the layer mask, go to my paintbrush, make sure that I'm on black. Uh, my opacity is about 18, that's fine. And then I'm just gonna lightly go over this to kind of bring some of that, some of that background back. And that's it. So you can see before and after, and that's by running the action. Same thing over here, or I'm sorry, over here, this is the sled one. Now this is in a vertical, so let me show you. The same principles would apply, okay? But let me just turn that off. We're gonna go to our actions, pointer tool, make sure that I'm on vertical, soft focus, and then just click play. And then instantly it just did all of that work that I just showed you. And you can see if I turn it on and off. I have it preset at 80. You can adjust this all the way up if you want to, or you can bring it down and lessen the effect, whichever you want to do. That's what's really cool about it. But all I did to record, or all I did to make those actions was record those steps that I just showed you in the beginning of this. So uh, having actions does uh, save you a lot of time, and uh, it just makes your workflow a lot easier. And then you can just go into your actions and select what you want and click play. And then you can just fine tune it. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this uh, lesson. I just wanted to show you how to create that soft effect because it can really dramatically change the way that your images look. And it's real easy to show a before and after to a client and, uh, and give them that option. Uh, it might be something that they didn't even know that they would like. And it works really good on fairy tale pictures too and senior pictures. Um, I mean, heck, it works on any kind of, of picture, really. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. If you are a club member, remember, you're going to be able to download these actions and load them, and uh, you can use them right away inside of there. If you're not a member and you want to check it out, head on over to newportraitbiz.com forward slash club, and you'll see all the details there. Once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. I'll talk to you later. Take care.